what to do when Power BI relationships are not working. I know it can be really frustrating when you have set up a relationship, but it just doesn't seem to work. So in this video, I'm going to share some useful tips and I'm going to show you step by step how you can debug Power BI relationships that are not working. If you're a Power BI beginner or still feel like a beginner, then this channel is for you. It's dedicated to help you succeed. So make sure to subscribe and also follow me on LinkedIn. That's where I am most active. This question was asked by Lance, one of our Learn Power BI members, and this was asked in our one of our live events. And you can also participate in our live events by going to talkpowerbi.com. So Lance was having trouble with relationship, which just wasn't working. So before I show you the five steps that you can uh, follow to debug a relationship, I'm going to start with two useful tips. The first step I want to share is that always debug using a simple table. Now, often, uh, you know, Power BI beginners have like a full dashboard and they throw a visual on there. Sometimes it's a complicated visual and they're trying to debug. They're like, oh, this is not filtering when I uh, select month or something like that. And uh, right, so slicer, some complex interaction. I would say if you're debugging a relationship, always really, really simplify it by using a simple table. So in this case, we're trying to debug the relationship between the sales table and the calendar table. Oops, that's not the right line. But uh, but yeah, you get you know what I'm talking about. So uh, yeah, there it is. So sales table and the calendar table. That's the relationship we're interested in debugging. So again, just create a simple, simple table and use that for debugging. Do not use uh, any sort of visual. The next tip I'm going to share is that use a simple measure. So sometimes people have defined um, now in this case, sales isn't that complicated measure it's just a sum, but sometimes they have some time intelligence or something really complicated going on. And they're saying, Avi, my relationship is not working. Well, debugging relationships or really any issue in Power BI is like solving a murder mystery. And what you need to do is to eliminate the suspects. So if you have a complicated measure, and you also feel like your relationship is not working, well, you got to focus on one at a time. So my general advice is that you simplify the measure, just focus on one suspect at a time and make that the relationship. And the simplest measure that you can define is, um, is uh, count rows. So that's what we're going to do. Hold on one second. All right, so I define a simple measure counter sales. And here it is. And again, this is the simplest measure possible in Power BI, I don't think there's anything simpler. And and you should use this to just focus on the relationship. And again, if you establish that the this measure is working, the relationship is working for this measure, then you know that it, the problem isn't the relationship, then if you're uh, whatever complex measure that you had or time intelligence, then it's something else that is not working. It's the measure uh, that may be the problem, not the relationship itself. So you can eliminate that suspect. Great. So again, keep these tips in mind, when you're focused on relationship, when you f feel like the relationship might not be working, start by debugging with a simple table, and using a really simple measure. Now, if if you do this, and you find that Oh, it works here, well, then your relationship is not a problem. And you can stop watching this video. And you don't have to watch my five steps to debug relationship, because it's working. And you can focus on your next suspect. But let's go to our five steps that I use to debug when I feel a relationship is not working. All right. Now, again, if you have a simple measure, then um, uh, then most likely when the relationship is not working, then it should have what I call the repeating number pattern. And it often appears in Power BI. And most of the time, it is a problem. In some rare cases, it is not it is intentional. But that's how uh, broken relationships should show up. So this is what I'm trying to debug. And one thing that I did was, and I would recommend you do that too, if you have a complicated model, and in this case, frankly, it's not that complicated. But still, just to simplify things, I, I created a new layout, which you can do just by clicking on the plus icon here. And I just dragged and dropped the tables that I'm looking. So what's the first step What's the first thing that I lo look at when I see that Oh, this relationship isn't working? Well, 
first thing that I look at is that, is there even a relationship there? And I know it sounds, sounds so simple. It's like, duck, that can't be it. But trust me, I have done that. And it's quite possible you can end up in the same scenario sometimes. So yeah, in this case, if I go to the model, there is no relationship. Oh, so of course, this one is easy to fix. I'll say, ah, I just need to drag and drop uh, and create that relationship. And now my measure is working and I can see it, I don't have the repeating number pattern and things are looking good. What's the next thing that I look for if even you know, if I look at the relationship and there is a relationship, but it's still giving me this repeating number of pattern, then what do I do? Well, the next thing that I pay attention to is that is the relationship active. And frankly, when you're checking the relationship, you will see it right away. Instead of a solid line, you will see this dotted line. And that's an indication that the relationship isn't active and no wonder it's not working. So then I would just click to edit the relationship and make sure that this box is checked. So I'm just going to check this box, hit OK. And that will get a relationship working again. The third thing that I look for is the direction of the relationship. Now I can't quite demonstrate it, but trust me, it happens with some kinds of tables. Now you notice here that, um, and of course I covered this in my Power BI tutorial, uh, that um, you know you should lay out your lookup tables at the top and your data tables down at the bottom. And uh, that way, I always remember that relationships flow downhill. So that that's, that's the way I laid out. And the key thing that I'm looking for is is this one side and many side and, and the direction of this arrow. So notice the direction it's it's showing you that this relationship is flowing in this direction. Now again, sometimes depending on what table you have, sometimes you drag and drop it, Power BI might get confused, and it might not get the direction right, it might reverse the direction, and, and you know, arrow would be going other way. Well, relationship do not flow uphill. So if the arrow is pointed down, that's the direction that the relationship flows through it's not going to go the opposite way. So if your arrow is pointing pointing the wrong way, if it's pointing up to the lookup table, right from the data table up to the lookup table is not going to work. And in that case, you just need to come in there and change the direction of the relationship many to many to one, one to many, just make sure that the arrow change that and make sure the arrow is going from uh, the lookup table down to the data table. All right, the next one I'm going to cover, this one shows up differently. So earlier, you've seen how it was showing up at that as that, uh, you know, the repeating number pattern. But in this case, it's, it, you know, it, you're going to see nothing. So you drag drop month, and it's like, nope, nothing, nothing, there's nothing going on. There's just this blank month. And, and that's it, the whole value of the count rows is shown for that. And, and, and for this one, I typically look at look to make sure that the data type is correct. That's that's the first thing that I look at. So in here, um, I am going to go to the so again, you're checking just the data type on both of these. Uh, so date, this one is a date data type. I don't know, can I check it here? Oh, well, maybe not. I'll just go in my field view to check that. So again, you check both sides of the relationship and make sure that the data type is same. So I'm going to go to the calendar table and uh, the date that's what the relationship was based on and I can see that this uh, this is is date data type which is good but then I'm going to go to the other side of the relationship which is the sales order date and and of course I mean I broke it on purpose but again sometimes you load data and Power BI may not detect the data type correctly or something like that and it can end up uh, uh, being the wrong data type so you can see that this is a text data type so now the data type on both sides of the sides of the relationship do need to match so I'm going to change that and there we go our relationship is back to working again so hey, I promised uh, five steps that I use, but I realized the fifth step is actually quite a few different things. So I'll tell you about the scenario though, but we will cover this in a following video. Uh, if you would like to see that video, just you know, put something in the comment below that will definitely motivate me to create uh, record that. But this scenario is where the relationship is working, but it's not working for some 
values, right? So, so relationship is working. You're not getting the repeating number pattern. You're not getting that big blank blob like we were. But you're saying, why am I not seeing any breaks, right? I mean, I know there are breaks in the data, and I'm not seeing that. And what about these forks and these handlebars, right? So, so there is something, either one or more elements, which are not. When you drag and drop that field from the lookup table, the data from uh, the data table just doesn't have that value. And I know it drives me nuts, really drives me up the wall. Because again, it's, it's, it's kind of in, in this no man's land where uh, you know, is the relationship working, not working. So that can be really frustrating. So that's a separate set of steps, which we are again, going to cover in a follow up video, make sure to subscribe to our channel. So you're notified whenever we publish new videos, follow me on LinkedIn and join us on talkpowerbi.com for our live events. I'll see you next time. Until then, power on. <laughs>